Good afternoon. I am Anita McFarlane. I'm the program manager for the Beatrice Welters Breast Health Outreach and Navigation Program. Or as my mother would have said, I'm the chief cook and bottle washer for the Welters program. So I just want to talk to you today a little bit about the program, about how excited we are to work on this program, and to tell you a little bit about um, the namesake for this program. Oops, let's back up. There you are. Who is Beatrice Welters? This is a woman who had a vision, who thought about the issues that face women of color, that face women who experience disparities in health care. And she put her heart and soul into this program and created what we are very pleased to be working with today. What's the mission for the program? The mission is essentially to address disparities. You heard from Dr. Ravenel about the disparities that face women of color, about the fact that we don't necessarily have access to the care that many other people have. We don't have access to the information. And so one of the goals uh, for this program is to address the disparities. The second goal, essentially, is to marry outreach and navigation. Now, there are a lot of outreach programs out there. I've seen a lot of you ladies out in the field at programs by SHARE, by the American Cancer Society. So there's a lot of outreach programs out there about breast health. What's different about the Welters program is we marry outreach and navigation. So while we are outreaching to you, while Sheila and Neftali, our two current navigators, are out there talking to you about breast health, they're also talking to you about your needs, about whether you need to be navigated into screening or into support. So it's unique in that it takes the outreach, it takes us into the community, and then takes you by the hand and then navigates you into care. And then that third goal for us is to be a model. We want to be a model for other cities, for other programs out there that do similar kind of work, but not as uniquely as we do it. Who's on the Welters team? Well, the Welters team is here in force today. Uh, you have met Dr. Joseph. Uh, you will be meeting our namesake, Mrs. Welters, in just a moment. Um, Sheila is our first navigator. Neftali Perez, who's in the back, uh, was hired fairly recently. We will be hiring a nurse case manager, and we will be bringing on three additional navigators. So it will be a, 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 a team that is very forceful. We talked a little bit earlier about the neighborhoods that we're covering. Why are we covering these neighborhoods? And I think Dr. Ravenel talked about disparities. And we see acute disparities in some of the Brooklyn neighborhoods. And then eventually in years two and three in this program, we will expand the program to Harlem. And hopefully, since we are being seen as, as a model program, expanding it citywide. Sheila talked a little bit about what our navigators will do. And so the way that we phrase it is they outreach, they educate, and they navigate. We'll build relationships with community-based organizations that many of you are affiliated with. We'll go to those beauty salons. We'll go to those laundromats. We'll go to where women are conversing. And we'll educate women. And let's see if we can get rid of this. It's not going away, Danielle. <laughs> and now you got it. Now you got an email. You got stuff going on here. There we go. Um, so we'll educate. We'll educate you about breast health, about screening, about all of those options out there for treatment, and then navigating providing personal support. And Sheila talked about meeting you kind of where you are, sort of where you are in terms of your knowledge level, in terms of your emotions, in terms of how you're feeling about getting screened. If you need us to go with you to a screening exam, we're there. If you need us to go with you to a diagnostic testing, we're there. Wherever you are, we will meet you. How will we reach women? As I said, through outreach. Where? We might be at your church. We might be at your beauty salon while you're sitting there getting the weave tightened and et cetera. We might be sitting next to you at the beauty salon or while you're getting those tips and you're sitting there with the little gel ultraviolet thing working on your nails. We'll be sitting there talking to you about breast health. 
Why do we want to do this? Because we want to talk about the importance of being good to ourselves. We, as women of color, we do for everybody. We do for our family, we do for our mothers, we do for our fathers, but sometimes we don't do for ourselves. So we, what we want to do is to make you center your, on yourself and make sure that you are good so that you can do good for everybody else. And we do that through navigation, through you know guiding you, through helping you, through taking you by the hand and making sure you know where you're going and you got back. You got somebody behind you because you got back through us. We'll provide support and access to quality care by navigating you to the healthcare facilities that we're working with. And then we will guide you if you're diagnosed into, through treatment, and into survivorship, and make sure you're standing on your two feet. Where have we been? Sheila talked a little bit about where we've been. Where are we going? Uh, in September, we're going to the Communities of Health Revival and Health uh, Fair. That's in Riverbank State, Riverbank State Park. We're going to Brooklyn. We're going to the Power of Pink and Prayer at the Salem Baptist Church. So if you have a church group, if you have a women's ministry, if you have a dance ministry in your church, please reach out to us. My name is at the end of the slideshow. Uh, Sheila and I have cards, so please contact us. We are very willing to go wherever women congregate. So what's important about this program? It's empowerment. Information empowers you to be able to take hold of your life and move on so that our clients, our patients, our ladies, the women that we're working with can remain engaged in life, can remain engaged in a quality of life with their families, with their loved ones, with the people that they surround themselves with, with their friends. That's what the Welters Program is all about. It's all about helping, guiding, providing information to women who say, no, girl, no, baby, I don't need it. Yes, you do. That's the end. At the end of the day, yes, you do. So this is who I am. This is my email address. This is my telephone number. Please feel free to reach out to us. Again, if you have a program that you'd like us to attend, we'll be out front You know, at the end of the program. Come and get our business cards. And I am very glad to be here today to unveil the program.